Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. It's to your girl Ife Omai. In case you are joining us for the first time, this is an entertainment show that educates you and analyzes things for you. But at the same time, you should be entertained. There's a lot of music, talented guests in the building, a lot of basketball that goes on the table. So if that's your thing, I really don't think you should go anywhere because this is where you're supposed to be. Um, and I don't do that alone. I have two beautiful, amazing, talented, intellectual, aware, sculptures, anchors, anchor. One of them, I'm still trying to figure out. <laughs> I'm joking. Two special people, and they are Emerald and Ife Oluwa Hi. I know that's fancy because I want lip gloss to be a beautiful. Suddenly. They are suddenly. So I'm it's true now. It's true. I'm not really showing it. All these girls, all these. <laughs> how do you call it? Guy geese. Guy guess. How do you call a guy girl? You just said it. A guy, guy girl. Geese. Guy girl. Guy girl. Mm. Okay. All these guy girls are cashing out too. And I'm beginning to think of the business. <laughs> In case my You wonder you're wearing what you're wearing today. What am ha. I wearing today? You're wearing that thing that Do you want to stand on the table with it and just give us a spin? What's that? What? Stand on the table and give us a spin. What am I wearing exactly? <laughs> I didn't know you were looking at my lap, darling. Excuse Why me. Why <laughs> What? <laughs> Shut <laughs> <Ife. laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Guys, I'm not in that table. Yeah. Stop. Uh, you shouldn't have done that. You just allowed it. Fair. You just you give him. It's not like it's. But it's not like it's. It's no fresh. Mind, uh, <laughs> it's not. It's fresh, yeah, wow. I'm, I just noticed the Did fact I, that you're wearing a ball. It's, yeah. it's just. It's, it's just not there. fresh. It's just there. If it's, it's okay, yeah. it's okay. Being there is okay, it's fine. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, how have you been, Emerald? I think it's been a minute since you and I have been on the table together. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, oh. I'm fine. I'm doing great. Mm. You yeah. look great. You look well Thank rested. You. you look happy. Yes, I am. Okay. I'm and ready. You also look beautiful. Thank like, you. I, I think because I've not seen the hair. The African thing, oh. you know, representing what? us. Oh. The, ah, look at your your wrists, the carries, the carries and everything. I like, love my people though, don't say. I'm I'm girl. like this as well. I can mm. be like this as well. Yeah. Oh, you are like this or yeah, you I've, I've like got like love that as well. Yeah, yeah. But we've never seen you like that. Go and check my pictures on Instagram. I yeah. have. No, you haven't. You need to look with a deeper eye. Mm. Exactly. You know you can go to someone's page, but then when you see them, see them, you now go back again and now start yeah. noticing like all the things okay. that you've not been watching. Okay. Okay. When I cannot look at a fair and see Africa. Mmm. Okay. Even the <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so we're going to analyze a lot of things today. Um, we missed your take on the Grammys yesterday, mm. but I think we still have a, a, an opportunity to hear you just, yeah, what you're feeling yeah. about that. So the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has congratulated Whiskey and Burner Boy for winning their first Grammy Awards. PDP's National Publicity Secretary, Kola Olobondinho, said Whiskey and Burner Boy's victory show that Nigerians have a resilient spirit. In a tweet, the PDP spokesman said the duo represents those who would take Nigeria in an ambitious height. Um, and I quote, he added PDP, added congratulations at Whiskey and Bonoboy, so that the Grammy Award showcases the reasons of the Nigerian spirit, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the duo have shown the capacity of the generations next Nigeria to take our nation to inevitable highest congratulations and more. The All Progress, this is not APC, the All Progressive Congress, APC also obviously cannot be left out in the congratulations thing. And they also sent out their own tweet. I don't know who said who first, or so maybe they just both copied each other. I don't know. In a tweet, APC assured Nigeria that the best is yet to come. And I quote, we celebrate Nigerian music and Afrobeat stars Damini Ogulu at Burner Boy and Ayodeji Ibrahim Balogun at Whiskey Dayo on their Grammy Awards. The best is yet to come, APC tweeted, in its verified Twitter handles. So I guess you can say, you know, the country is proud. Of course. Yes, like absolutely. Every, every single person that's aware of this is we're, we're happy. Yes. Like, it's a big one. But. But. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> <laughs> like, what, can they just... Can oh, they just yours, yo. What are you saying? Uh, like, why, why wouldn't I say it? Mm. I mean, please, they should... Can they not just do this? They are political. Why is it yeah. PDP and APC? What, they should not do that, please. They should not tweet about that. Well, they can tweet, but they shouldn't tweet about it. Yes, they should. <laughs> it's, looking like, it's looking like, oh, okay, so PDP has done something. That, I think they're bringing politics, their political thing into yeah. this whole thing and trying to... I mean, make people notice that oh, <coughs> politics is also aware. We know yeah, what you guys are doing. Yeah. They should do what they have to do. 
like the things that they have to put in order they should do that yeah. they know they know what we're crying about yeah, what we've we been we crying know, about we know there are more important tweets to exactly, tweet out not, yeah, th this one is very important anyways mm. but we know what they're doing yeah and uh, this reminds me of the story of uh, macaroni i don't know if you're on the table oh. that day where the police force yeah 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 um, it's the same thing it's not that there's anything wrong with the tweet that they've mentioned or you know that they've dished out but when you have such an in huh, before they come and See, arrest me. Nobody's but it's like a really you. crippled and on um, ineffective uh, uh, um, function. When you see them do things that is not part of the main stuff that they that have been lacking in is. already, yeah. it feels a bit weird. I think that's what it is because a lot of other places, there's, like there's banks and stuff that are tweeting whatever, whatever, yeah. and there isn't that much backlash because at least they can do their decent amount of transactions and stuff that they were built for. But I think it has to hurt when you are not even like focusing on what you're supposed to focus on. You're not focusing on what you're supposed to focus on, and then you're busy like doing Mother's Day and all these other things. Like, bro, there's something mm -hmm. that we're supposed to be discussing here. That's but true. I, 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 I see what you mean. Man, to me though, everything is important, and Grammy is a national heritage for every Nigerian. It's a every national heritage. Or oh, it's a national treasure. We should appreciate the grammy is actually very important is the entertainment industry important is that what you guys are trying to separate it's not possible Wait. now pdp yes they should focus on other yes we yeah. agree but the music space is also something that a lot of people feed on mm. grow on a lot of unemployed people have made money just from being musicians mm -hmm. a lot of people have made a lot of money from participating into the music business so if by this we are beginning to get noticed by the government and the government are beginning to invest in the music space, it is a welcome place, PDP, APC, OPC, whatever, tweet about it. We need those tweets. We need those messages. We need those tweets? Yes, we do, because we need to be recognized globally. A lot of those musicians have sleepless nights. They're putting blood, sweat, and tears into making what they do. They get the Grammys, and then we want to limit the people that should appreciate them. But when an uh, Okonjo Iwiala gets the, uh, what's it called? World Trade Organization mm -hmm. chairman. Everybody tweets about it. Nobody has a problem with which organization. Everybody did not tweet it. about it. It wasn't everybody. But yeah. well, I'm saying nobody has ever. Okay. Because the people that have tweeted are not everybody. But incompetent. who has called out any organization that? Because those guys that tweeted were not incompetent. If eh? that's why. What are you saying? Yes, if the police force did not say congratulations. The government did not say congratulations. No, the government didn't say congratulations. The APC. Go and check it out. Oh, no, I'm not sure, so I'm not going to Okay, I'm actually it. not sure, sure about that, but if, if if they did, I think it would have really been everywhere. Like it would have ones. been. Why they don't even be tweet that much. Because that's important. But the music business now, everybody looking at it like, why are they no, talking about No, it's not, we're not saying, no, 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 wait, we're not saying that, they're talking about it. I'm talking about, about reactions I saw on social media. Okay, on this table, on this table, we're not saying that, they're talking about. I saw put out a tweet and somebody replied saying that, have you ever played any of his music? But it's true, isn't it true? Is it not true? So because they don't play his music, they can't celebrate a Nigerian who won a Grammy. That you had nothing to do with. And that you're supposed to have something. you have anything to do with? Yes, Ife, I pay for subscription i download this man's songs okay. i stream them so and it is literally paying his bills don't people try that in nta do not or Wait. nta does not we're not, we're not, we're not talking about nta staff we are talking about okay. nta as a platform that is supposed to play its indigenous people's we can, we songs and they are everything. not we can't make everything no, look like it's bad me, when we're talking about pdp and we're talking about apc you know we're talking about all of that See, it, I think we are the problems. Let mm. people so celebrate whatever. So you like to be whatever. too shallow sometimes. I want to be, <laughs> okay. When people now okay. want to dive deeper into the problems, you keep okay. this narrative of like, okay. we oh, yeah. are too kimmy. Like, it makes no Please sense. If you don't think that there's we any problem saying... with the fact that NTA is supposed to be a national television, mm -hmm. where every single Nigerian, even television. without... Like let me finish. Let me finish. Mm. Let me finish. Go on. The fact that they do, these people don't even need, um, what's it called, a mm. satellite. Anyone who has a TV, a small TV, mm. can read. Can read. Yeah. That is like serious, um, what's it called, a gold mine that they have there, right? In terms mm. of dissemination of, of, of information, mm. supporting their mm. artists. And they don't do that. They so, don't. Okay. They don't do that platform. So if somebody comes out to say that, this person that has been able to, despite the fact that the country has not helped, 
It's only private organizations like MTV Base, Plus TV Africa, thank you. And a bunch of other people, most of them are private. Maybe TV is the only government thing that can say, oh, okay, yeah. They're the ones that are supporting your music, pushing it out there. If somebody then tweets that and, and, an, and another user says, oh, you, why are you tweeting? Because you haven't supported, you have not supported them. I don't think they said anything that's now, out do you know of how much the ordinary. They pay to MTV Base and all those more things. Think, hold up. No, no, I'm not going to hold up. We will pay MTV. MTV. You know MTV. Are they collecting the money? Are they even playing anything? It's fair. You're not understanding. Uh -huh. I know what you're saying, yeah? It's okay for them to tweet about it. And we're not saying that it's because it's the music industry. They shouldn't. Yeah, that's not what we're saying. We're not saying that. It's okay for them to tweet, but so the can they just, can they not do the political thing because that's what I see they're trying what's to do. What's political this. about this? Is Bonabo going to go and vote Why for Why are they them? suddenly By telling him congratulations. You don't think it's a cloud chasing thing? It is. Uh-uh, it is. It's a cloud chasing Really? Yes. yes. The president even saying out of, oh, come on guys, come on. Like, th now this is the height of being shallow. Wow. Should we go on? Yeah. Yes, please. Uh, what's your take on Whiskey's award? Amazing. Amazing. Even though... <laughs> <laughs> People, well, I, I really don't. I really don't have anything um, bad to say about that. I'm actually happy mm. that that was given to him, the brown skin girl thing, you know, but. I don't like what people people were saying, not me. I don't like what people were saying. What that. were people saying? People were saying, like, I saw a lot of comments saying that... He's a video oh, vixen. Yeah, he's a video vixen, and he shouldn't really be recognized mm. like that. That Unless it was his song, da 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 and it was, like, said it all, you think that, so... I really... I'm, I'm, I'm Either way, Sha, they put us on the global map. We've gotten the rec recognition we need. This is opening the doors for more people to follow. Um... And I'm excited to see what the Afrobeat scene, and in fact, the Nigerian music scene is going to have, I think a lot more people are going to start um, submitting their songs to Grammys, so we might have a better chance. And Grammys are also now looking for diversity and all of that stuff. So it's a good, it's a good time to be alive and a good time to see the institution progress. But I just want to say that on the larger scale of things, this is actually not a big deal. The larger scale of things. Let's not make it look like Grammys is the... Like it's not a big the, deal? No, as in like, I don't want... I mean, I, I want to say that yesterday, but I was so excited, but... Um, you know, if I said something now, it's like, this is so huge, da, 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 da. but not really. It's just an organization. And um, it's the biggest no, music of it's, it's, it's still not that. It's still not that in big. The world. It's still not that big of a deal in terms of the fact that it's still a, just a just an organization that is infiltrated with bias. That it's is infiltrated with, with by the world. It's, no, it's, 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 it's infiltrated with bias. It's there's politics. So if you don't have a Grammy is what I'm saying, the largest scale of things. Oh, okay. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> Nicki Minaj is one of the best things that have come and out she's of she's never... She's never had an award. That's true. Um, um, what's it called? We, we can basically rule the entire top charts of the entire year. That's All true. his songs were big. He didn't get an award. So in the largest scale of things, darling, it's not a big deal. I made the celebrations by Nigerian and Africans over the Grammys Awards win by singer Whiskey Tiwa Savage and Burner Boy. Some persons have expressed ill feelings about the awards, and one of them is evangelist Victor Edit. In a post Victor Edit made in Facebook, he described the Grammy Awards as an entity of Satan, and most people who have won the award have sold their soul to Satan for it. He claimed the music industry is controlled and owned by Satan and cautioned, cautioned um, Christians who are celebrating the winners of the prestigious awards, claiming they are set to miss out on heaven. Very, 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 very deep storms. Nigerians will never stop um, being like this. <laughs> it's, the, it's the meme for me. Do you oh, see the meme? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is wrong with you people? Like, what is this? I think this is one of those. I know. expected this <clears throat> anyways. Yeah. I did, yeah, because I mean, we Nigerians, the the Christians actually, we kind of like always want to read meaning into everything, everything, especially when it has to do with mostly the foreigners. Mm. We want to look at it from a different angle and mm. conclude um, one or two things about it, saying, "Oh, this is not um, godly." And mm. so, as a Nigerian or as a Christian, if you want to be part of this, then hell is your portion. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so I don't know. Like I expected it, anyways. Yeah, I, I I think this 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 stuff really upsets me. I've noticed that with Christians, especially in Nigeria, if you get fame, if you get famous, if you get wealth, it's a bad thing. It's for really, Christians, yeah, the no, people who are not Christians. Okay, but then if you if a Christian gets famous or if a pastor starts buying jets, 
it's not a problem. Mm. And I don't understand it because it's still money. No, when, I, I didn't get that. When, like, for example, Lakon, for example, okay. Lakon's wealth and Lakon's fame is demonic. It's, he sold the soul to the devil. It's for oh, the world. Okay, okay. But then when you make your money from church, it's still money. And you still use the same money for the same things. It's not like you know, you're buying shares in heaven. You're buying cars on, in Nigeria. You're buying jets. You're buying houses. No, then it's okay. And I don't understand. I don't understand that. I really, I really don't. I think it's extreme hypocrisy and just, you want to lie to yourself that now you better pass. It's my opinion, it's what it is. Mm. Because everybody has a way of making their money, but you have, a, you have a superior complex to think that if it's not the way you make it, then everybody else is doing something bad. And I don't like that about mm. that Christian religion at all. It's mostly in Nigeria anyway. Yes, it is. It's a poverty mentality thing. And if God literally did not bless you in that church, if it's not from the fact that you're following past up and down, then you haven't made that money <clears> right. <throat> Must you sell your soul to the devil to do well on earth? That's the question I want to ask. Because that's what he's, it seems like he's preaching. That's a but why point. exactly do they think that Grammy is um, a devilish whatever. I don't know. That's the same thing with 666, whatever. Hmm. Bunch of people doing well. Oh my gosh, you cannot be doing well. They must sell their soul to the devil. Illuminati. So can you not do well in on earth <laughs> do you without selling your soul to the devil? Do you believe in that? Do you believe that the Illuminati thing? No, in? of course not. If I do you? It does exist. Not in the way that it's portrayed. But let, yeah, but not in the way that it's portrayed. Now, there are secret organizations that, you know, Tend to, that have code of conduct, secrecy, and just help their members mm. to grow yeah. in the society. And they have a close circle. Mm. Do you understand? They have to do a bunch of things to prove themselves yeah. to be worthy, to belong to that circle. Exactly. And they help each other. Exactly. Now, there's really nothing demonic about that. Absolutely not. Do you understand? But to you from the outside, it's called a secret cult. You from the outside be like, oh, they have a meeting yeah. at 12 midnight. But they're <laughs> discussing business. They're doing That's this. They say they are drinking blood. Do you understand? So it's okay for people to think whatever they think. And um, I just want to call out the same so-called Christians that when a Ron Kennelly or a Kirk Franklin wins this same Grammy Everybody's award. like, God is penetrating yeah. his way through the earth. Yes. He's coming into He's the circle. The thing. Yeah, people are... Yeah. They, 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 they will come and tell you, the done men, they will come and tell you, oh, it's a notch being number one mm, in America. On the top on, billboard on the, yeah. chart. It's and it's a good thing. Mm. You know, the devil is not at work mm -mm. when it comes to that. It's the but angel. suddenly, when a whiskey and a boner boy and we are celebrating ah. them, the demon has entered our soul. Yes. Well, we like that demon. May he continue to live in us. I don't like demons. Uh, uh. No, no, yeah. I don't like demons. Mm -mm, no, thanks. That demon me I like. Oh, well, I don't know nice. about you guys. <laughs> I mean, I, I absolutely like, like what you said. I think people just need to really give space. Christians, and I'm, I'm, I might seem like I'm bashing Christians, but that's the only religion I'm close to oh. and I'm aware of. I don't know what happens in the Islam society. Whatever society else is here. We don't have video. I think it's just Christian Muslims. Just Christian Muslims. And maybe traditional worshippers or whatever. But I feel like people need to really start to um, tone it down with their belief, whatever. Your belief is a personal thing. Yeah, that's, I keep that's saying what that. we should have. It's that's a what, personal that's, that's, thing. You have no right to indicate how somebody else's belief should look like, how somebody else's belief should function. And I don't think you have a right to even um, ostracize them if it looks different from yours. Exactly. Especially if it's not hurting anyone. If you say you get an organization now that's sleeping with children, so it's something, something evil. Oh, yes, as a, as a society, we are responsible to, you know, protect each and every one of us, but these people are not doing anything bad. Yeah. Relax and... Keep it to yourself. Again, that meme was something that really stood out for me. Mm. Um, the fact that he said something about like the devil making you think that the good people who didn't accept God are going to go to heaven. And those pictures of Biggie, pictures of, of Brian and his daughter. And like, I'm just. That's too much. It's too much. It is too much. Just because you claim to serve somebody righteous and good like Jesus Christ does not mean that your intentions are good because I don't think Jesus will ever approve of that picture, first of all. Yes, who told you who told you you know who's going to heaven uh -huh. and who's not? What who, who who gave you the audacity? This well, you actually, the person died. This you is, is that relationship with God. Are you kidding? He's judging. Seriously judging. And we're asked not to.